here in this white part. Okay. Clear till here? All right, so I hope you have followed till here. I repeat it again. We start with HTML, start and end. In HTML, there are two parts, head start and head end, first one. Second is the body start, body end. Whatever you write in the title will be displayed in the title of the HTML document. Whatever you write here will be displayed in the body section of the document. Let's move on further now. I will be, if I want to add something in here, I'll be typing it after this, right? And then I need to go here and refresh it. Let me show you how. Suppose I want to add something. This is another line, right? After doing this, you can see here in the title bar, before this first word, you see this asterisk symbol, right? <clears throat> Asterisk symbol means that this is not saved yet, okay? So you press Control S for save, or you can go to File and click on Save button from here, right? So see, that asterisk symbol has gone from here. So that means that this file is saved. Now you need to go there to your web browser and press F5, or you can press this button. It's saying Reload the page. Click in this, and you can see this is another line. If you find that you need to go from here and there again and again, what you need to do is you can click and drag it from the title bar and drag it to the right edge of the screen so that it covers the half. Then he's asking on the left-hand side that which other file you need to place on the left-hand side. So you click on this first notepad file, this one. Now it's easier for us to type in something here and see the output there on the web browser on the right-hand side, okay? See, I show you how. This is the second line, right? And you can see this asterisk sign. So we press Control S, or you can click on File, and then Save. And you come to the right-hand side now and press F5, and see, this line has been added here, right? I hope you have followed, children. I hope you have followed. You can see, children, that here we are writing, this is the body section, this is another line, this is the second line. These are three different lines, right? But if you see here, they are all coming in one line. You notice that? Now, I want to write these lines as these lines. That means each line in a separate line. So what to do? I remember I told you about empty tags. In empty tag, we covered one BR tag. BR means break tag. Okay, so let's make use of that. Here I have a BR tag. And here also a BR tag. Save this and go to the other side. In your web browser, press F5 and you can see here we have all these in different lines, right? So this is the use of break tag. Then we have some other tags, some other useful important tags. Let's see what are those. Okay, here we start. Now imagine a web page. You might have visited some website. At the top, they have written, they always write the name of the company or name of the website, okay? Like Google is there or Yahoo is there or go to any other eBay, right? Any other site. So they write the heading and the heading is always written as bold or maybe a bold or italic or something, a little bit bigger font they write, okay? So we have heading tags here and the heading tags, the, the number is six, okay? There are six heading levels. So I start from the first one. See the way I do, I just write edge. And this is the heading tag, right? And because there are six heading levels, I just copy this line down. Control C, Control V, again, five times, okay? And because I told you there are six levels, so I just write them one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? 
similarly here on the right hand side because we have started with the h1 tag see here this is the h1 tag now if h1 tag has started definitely at the end h1 tag will end okay And there are only six heading levels, so you cannot go on with H7, H8 or something, okay? Only six heading levels are there. Now we save that. Now this is a starting tag and this is an ending tag. So ending tag, how do you denote? You put a slash, okay? So this denotes that this tag has ended, right? So what does it mean now? Here h1 starts after writing something h1 ends right okay let's save this and go on the other side press f5 <clears throat> see this first one is a heading tag all the heading tags okay and let me just change it a bit we can write here h1 and here h2 h3 h4 H5, H6, okay? Now let's see this. See, this is the H1 tag. This is the biggest tag here, okay? Then this is a little bit smaller one, still a smaller one, and the size keeps on decreasing till you reach H6, okay? So these are the heading tags. So it depends on you, which one would you like to use there in your web page? All right. Then we move on to another important tag. Let me put some BRs here. Okay, imagine I want to write something in bold or italics or underline, okay? So let me write this. For bold, we use a B tag. B stands for bold. And bold tag is a container tag, so we have a start and an end. Okay, similarly, you have an italics tag, italic starts, italic ends. If you want to underline something, you can use the U tag, right? So let me write something in this. Right, let's save this and let's go on the other side and check it out. See, we have written, this is the bold text, this is the italics text, this is the underlined text, right? If you want them in different lines, then what you can do is you can put a break here, okay? And now when you go on the other side, you can see these are displayed on different separate lines, see? bold italics and underlined all right okay now let's write two br tags just for a break okay so this these two br means that you are leaving two lines in between all right okay let's move on uh, till now you have seen that we have a body tag and you can see that the background of this whole page is white Okay, this is the default behavior of this Now what if you want to change the background color or the font you want to change or something else in the body? Here along with body inside this tag see there It was like this now I left a space and I type in something else for example, BG color, right, is equal to Let's see what happens. We have a yellow colored background, okay? Now, what is this BG color? It is written, now this body is a tag. It is written after a space inside the same tag, right? And this is known as an attribute. Let me write it here attribute 
okay and what are attributes attributes are written along with the tag and they change the behavior of a tag now you saw this body right in the beginning body was with a white background okay but i wanted to change some behavior of body that means i wanted some background color to be changed so i changed the attribute bg color of this bg stands for background and color you know background color this bg color should be written in as the same single word okay so you cannot be writing as bg space color or bg hyphen color or something don't do that okay bg color is one word all right and see the spellings of color c o l o r you'll be writing okay if you write c o l o u r it won't work all right similarly let's change some other properties of this uh, body tag i'll be pressing enter to write something else see now let me add some more attributes now what we can write is now imagine this this thing the tags they are all uh, the fonts they are all black in color here right whatever the text it is black in color now i want to change the text color so what to do you can click here after the bg color even you can leave a space here and start typing here text is equal to red okay see the text has gone red now after that you can see that in this web page where this line starts above the page uh, above this text there is very less space here right similarly on the left hand side also there is very less space it's quite touching the border right so what to do you need to give some space at the top so what you can do you can write top margin this is one single word again top margin is equal to whatever you write here for example 10 a number this is in pixels okay the so top margin is equal to this and left margin is equal to imagine 10 again this is in pixel let's write these two and now when i press f5 you see what happens similarly you can have right margin and bottom margin also you can try those out yourself okay now i have written here bg color but what if i want a background image for a web page right now in order to do this what you can do is you can write here background as an attribute background is equal to now i need to write the name of an image here okay and just in order to reduce our workload what we can do is we can keep the image in the same folder in which you have this html file okay so let me go to our folder it was d drive html let's go to d drive html and you can see i have one image here it's no its name is painting and see the extension here jpg right so what's the name of the image painting dot jpg all right and it's in the same folder as your html file so what to do you just write here painting dot jpg jpg right let's go here and test it out see there we have our image here okay so if you need an image in the background